Hey guys, Darren with the Scott Group. Hey, this week for uh, Spotlight OC, we're heading over to About Face Coins to meet with Carlos Duran, um, Orange Native, longtime businessman. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Carlos Duran uh, from Orange, California. Uh, my store is About Face Coins and Jewelry. Um, what this store is, is a little bit of everything. Uh, I started opening here nine years ago, July 10th of 2009, and opened up just a coin shop. And quickly I realized when clients come in, they collect a little bit of everything. So I'm like, well, why did I open it up? Some memorabilia. Uh, watches. I live in Lawrence my whole life. My mom, born and raised, we have the same house for, I'm 46 years old, have the same house for 45 years, uh, so I'm here quite often. Well, I was thinking of a, a nice name to catch and, and how I do things, and when I came up with About Face, that's, it's About Face. Like, you bring something in, you know that I'm going to give you About Face of what its value is. Nothing less, nothing more, it's About Face. I mean, I'm, I'm a treasure hunter, so I tell people, bring in your stuff, and I look at their things and uh, just excitement. Like you never know what's in the box, you never know what's coming in, and I never know who I'm gonna meet. Uh, one thing I have now, that I could probably say is pretty crazy, is this right here. It's an 1851 Pocket Army uh, Colt 36. But what makes it unique is that on the side here, you can see it was dated to Mr. McKenzie from his friends in 1863. So this stuff like this, is, is to me it's priceless because it's dated from the family and uh, I researched it and I'd be curious if I could find out who Mackenzie is and the family's still there. Who knows what this thing could be valued at to somebody. I don't think I have an average customer. I mean, it's a little bit of everything. I mean, I've got teenagers come in here looking for memorabilia and baseball cards and comic books to 75, 80 year old people who want to complete their coin collection to hand down to their kids. Everything in between. Uh, I do with people coming up to state sales and trying to find a place to unload their merchandise or whatnot. And, I'm quickly becoming, I want to be the one-stop shop, meaning you can bring in all your stuff or look at it all, and we may do business on certain items, some stuff we won't, but at the end of the day, you're going to walk out of here, you're going to know exactly what you have, and hopefully an idea of what to do with it. Uh, you're quick, quickly going to know as soon as you come in here, first thing I'm going to give you is my card, and I'm going to tell you to call to come in, because I'm a family man, if my kid has a game, I'm going to the game. If my wife has something to do, I'm going to go do it. So that's what I always try and communicate to people so you know. I would consider myself a collector and for someone who wants to invest, an investor as well because I do a lot of silver and gold here. People come in and invest their money in silver coins, gold coins, and I've had so many people come in asking just questions saying, hey, I want to invest in this, what to do? And I just give them my opinion and how I want to do it and where I'm at and hopefully it helps. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> One thing that separates me from everyone else is this. Like you come in here, I'm gonna sit down just like this and I'm gonna to talk to you about your stuff and we're gonna do business and you're gonna know that you're coming to a place that has a little bit of everything. Not just coins, not just memorabilia. I just don't wanna buy your stuff. What I wanna do, I wanna establish a relationship. I wanna give you my history of knowledge that I know and hopefully it helps you. I see silver and gold in three years, uh, probably almost double where it's at. I'm a big believer, more in silver than gold. I think silver has a lot more room to grow and uh, gold is, is real, real tough and they keep holding it down as much as they can. But silver should already be probably double where it's at now, but it's not. So that's just my opinion. And But I really think silver and gold, if you do it right, budget it right, you should make some money. One thing I do with clients when they first come in the door is I immediately greet them. Like, you have to say, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to About Face Coins. I'm Carlos, can I help you? And if they say, I'm just looking, I say, go ahead and look around. Any questions, just ask. And if they come in and saying, well, I have some coins, this or that, I try and help them the best way I can, but there's no way I can help them if I can't make them feel at home. So I got to make them feel comfortable that I'm a shop. I'm just like them. Uh, I know a little bit more about the stuff they have and I can help them out. A lot of other shops that I'm hearing from these customers coming in, they don't do that. They have to buzz in or they have to walk in and they just, I want to make them feel at home because I'm a family man, it's a family business, so I'm going to give them family service and that's just how I am. 